Hello again, it's April here and welcome back to another studio vlog. I am sitting on the floor, new angle today. I quite like sitting on the floor and I don't have to hold my arm out because I have the camera on something. So that's exciting. I am April, who are you? Tell me, tell me who you are so I know. But I know I am April and that's all I know. Uh, I am a motion graphic designer by day and in the evenings and at weekends I like to paint and draw and work on uh, making products for my upcoming Etsy shop coming 2025. I left work early today at four o'clock, went to the supermarket on the way home so got home only like 50 minutes earlier than normal and it's that kind of time where you don't really have enough time to do much, you want to make dinner but it's too early to make dinner and you're like, oh, what can I do? It's kind of like when you have a package arriving and they tell you it's gonna come between 9 a.m. and 8 p.m. And you think, oh, that's not really helpful because now I have to stay in the house all day. And then you get really like annoyed and you can't, don't feel like you can start anything. It's kind of like that awkward time. So I thought I'd just sit on the floor and say hi and get the vlog going. I um, uploaded yeah, last week's vlog just a minute ago at work like an hour ago because I left my hard drive at work so I couldn't do it yesterday so that's why the video is late I'm gonna try not to be late this week so what's my plan for this week I am going to try and finish the zine it's been going ongoing for many many weeks now I'm gonna try and finish my Belle and Bear Inktober zine so I've got all my pages done just need to uh, put the words in and kind of like finalize it and do a front cover and it's done. I can't wait to get that finished and like see what it looks like. I'm really happy with how it's going. I also want to do my clay pins, which uh, you saw maybe in last week's vlog if you watched that one. I just like did a little sneak peek. So I think some of them aren't going to work because the clay is really thin. Um, so this, I don't know if you can see, it's like a little bit wobbly. I mean, if it was a magnet, it might stick to the fridge. I mean, even if it was a pin, it might stick to you. But I'm just worried that it's a little bit too curvy. But this is going to be a little sausage dog, a little sausage dog. I thought that would be really cute. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and work on those and if some of them don't work out, I'm, I'll just keep them. I might even give them away as like little freebies maybe. I'm not sure. They're just really fun to make. And what else do I want to do? I want to try and do some more gouache painting. I didn't have any in my vlog last week, I don't think. I don't think I did any. Ruth Will Short on YouTube, she's also on Instagram, but she just made a YouTube channel uh, a couple of weeks ago and she did like a gouache tutorial. She's done another gouache tutorial, so I'm definitely going to do that one. Her last one was really fun. Like, I didn't come out how I wanted it to. I was a bit haphazard, but I still enjoyed doing it. And this one looks really fun too. It's like a misty field with a gate and some trees. So that looks really nice. So for Etsy, the zine, the clay pins, um, I should probably try and do some my prints because I keep putting my prints off because they're going to be hard. And I think they're going to be hard to do. Like printing is the absolute worst about all of this. The stickers, now that I've got the Cricut working, seems fine. But doing the prints, like getting the colours right and getting all of that stuff, uh, I think that's going to be difficult. So I keep putting it off. But I really need to do that. And yes. That's all I have to say right now. I just wanted to pop in and say hi. Um, it's quite nice just chatting to my camera, actually. Um, it's like a friend, you know? Just staring at me with that one eye. Like, tell me all your secrets. I didn't do any work today. I just did tutorials all day long. Alright, let's get this vlog going. You're probably bored of listening to me by now. Let's do some art. It's about quarter to eleven now. I just finished three days worth of figuary because I was well behind and uh, I'm all caught up now so I did day five, day six and day seven. This is day five. Really loved this model. She was so expressive. I really want to go back and redo her drawings at the end of the month like do them justice because obviously this is just a couple of minutes each pose. Then I moved on to day six. The model was, well let's just say she was twisty. Um, <laughs> she's a bit sassy there. Uh, this is why I ran out of time and I forgot to draw the face, but I think it adds a certain, uh, a certain appeal. I quite like it. I actually really like how this pose turned out, even though it does look like she's sniffing her armpits. And this one here, you can tell that I had had enough by this arm. <laughs> Basically just gave up. 
Um, so that was day six, day five, day six. Oh, actually, oh yeah, and then this one here too, that was pretty good actually, quite enjoyed that pose. So that was day five and day six, you'd think that I would be warmed up by now, but it turns out every time I start a new pose, a new model, I forget how to draw again. I quite like this one here. This is like the pigeon in yoga. So it made me miss yoga for a second. And I really love this actually from like the torso down and actually leave out the foot. I really like this area here. It's quite nice. And yeah, my favorite part of drawing uh, figure drawing is definitely the legs. I love drawing legs. I think they're really fun, apart from the feet. Um, this late, I messed up her face a bit here, but I quite like the, the lines in this area. So that's figuary. Definitely better than the last time uh, figuary was mentioned on the vlog last week, where I was doing the guy and I hated it. Oh, it was awful. So I'm going to try and keep up, keep up with figuary for the rest of the month now. Oh, what's the time? Oh, it's quarter to 11. Jeez, I gotta get up early tomorrow to go for a run, so I'm going to bed. <laughs> it's uh, 4.30 on Saturday. Uh, I've had a bit of a slow, lazy, not lazy, I've had a bit of a slow, gentle, relaxing day. Um, this morning I met up with some friends and we did a park run with my other running club, Vegan Runners, and there were 25 of us, so biggest turnout yet, which was pretty cool, and afterwards we went and had some brunch, and then I came home and went for another walk, I just love walking, and then I got in bed, and I've just uh, been watching YouTube videos, and I was really cold, so I put the heating on. I got in bed, and the heating's kicked in now, so it's a bit warmer. Um, and I think I'm gonna do some painting. So the sun's going down, it's 4 30, but I'm feeling just like having a nice, super chill, lovely afternoon. I'm gonna watch some vlogs on YouTube, and I'm gonna mix some colors and maybe do some other stuff. And you can tell that I'm in a super chill, relaxed mood because I'm talking at the pace of a normal human being. That's how you know. But let's uh, let's get on with it, shall we? So some of you may follow Sandra Roberto on YouTube. She's just recently released um, a really awesome uh, four-part series. It looks like she's only got three parts up there right now. It's a colour mixing series on the old YouTube and I thought it would be really fun just to kind of like jump in and mix some colours up. So I'm actually going to break out a new sketchbook for this one. It's the XL, Canton XL Mixed Media Sketchbook, mainly because it's nice and big, nice and big A4 and uh, otherwise I'll be using my Mossery, which I don't really want to. So I've got my colours here. Um, now Sandra Roberto says that cyan, magenta and yellow are the correct colours to mix with rather than red. So uh, in Windsor and Newton I don't have um, a magenta, I do have this pink opera, opera rose. I have an opera rose which I'm going to try and then obviously I have the primary blue, the primary yellow and the primary red. So I'm literally just going to have a chill chill afternoon i'll put the camera on and maybe show you a little bit of it okay got the camera set up i'm i've already watched this video tips and primary tips and mixing primary colors together so i'm not going to watch that one because i've kind of just like taking the information on board i've got my drink i've got some love hearts little snack there and i think i'm gonna watch not a studio vlog by liz hello everybody I'm going to pop this here so it's not super distracting if I'm doing the old speeding up, you know. Let's uh, get some painting.
So that took me about 45 minutes and I've got my little colour wheel here and then I went ahead and I kind of just like started at the top of the colour wheel and I just slowly made, you know, like just lots and lots of different variations. And then if you guys have watched her videos, if you haven't, go check them out because they're awesome. Um, she does browns as well. So the way she does browns is she mixes the complementary colours together. So for example, she'll mix the yellow with a purple. Um, the, ma oh, the magenta with the green and then the blue with the red so that's what I did to try and make some browns now a lot of these browns are more kind of like weird greys um, some of them are quite nice though like I quite like this brown here which is mixing magenta and green together so basically it's just like different um, different percent this is so you know I'm still I'm still here uh it's basically just mixing different percentages of the colors together to make different browns so yeah that was really fun um not quite sure what I'm gonna do now it is dark outside though hi it's me got my beautiful cactus there and I've got my little cactus here a uh, little succulent sorry got my little succulent there which I still haven't named so maybe Maybe you guys can uh, give me a good name for my little new succulent there. Anyway, I'm going to shut the curtains and do something else. I've just spent what feels like about five hours, but I think it was like an hour, um, sanding all these clay pins. Uh, so they're all ready to go. I'm going to brush them with water in a second. I did have some casualties. Uh, this was going to be a sloth. A sloth yeah that was going to be a sloth cactus and a little sausage dog lost his tail so they're going to go into that clay graveyard but um yeah i think some of these turned out pretty good some of the thicker ones turned out quite flat like the plants and stuff but ones with a bit more detail or skinny ones a little bit curved like this one here especially and i just don't know if a pin or a magnet will stick to that um, and also, I don't know, that's not very good quality to me, so I'm probably going to go through them and I'll still paint them, but I'll just, uh, keep the ones aside not to sell, maybe just to, I don't know, for decoration or something. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's the clay pins. It's now seven o'clock, so I'm going to go have dinner. It is a very blustery day outside. I think the storm must have come over last night. Today is definitely gonna be an indoor day. And I just love an indoor day, especially when it's like miserable outside. So I woke up this morning really early and I actually um, played Sims for a couple of hours. I don't know if this ever happens to you guys if you play video games, but I can not play a video game or a computer game for months on end and then suddenly I'll just get like a craving to play and that's all I think about <laughs> until I play it. So I went to bed last night thinking, mm, I think I wanna play Sims and it's because that new expansion pack came out a while back, like the university, and I was just watching a video on it. Really, really wanted to play, but it's like 35 pounds. And I was thinking, normally when I buy an expansion pack or a new game, I'll play it for a couple of hours, like maybe a, a day, a day if I'm lucky. And then I'll get bored. And it's like a waste of money so I thought I'd go to bed and I'll see if I wake up tomorrow and still want to play so I woke up still wanted to play so I thought all right I'll start a new game and by the time my sims have a kid and that kid's ready to go to university if I'm still playing I'll buy the university expansion pack and I spent two hours making a new character and building a house and then I was like hmm I'm kind of bored now always happens literally always happens so I think I've got that out of my system uh, we're gonna go into town and pick up some some food for the week because we don't have anything and then I think I'm gonna try and do an art day today so I'm not gonna do anything for the shop this weekend because I have a long weekend next week I've got um, Friday and Monday off from work so I'm gonna use that as like super super Etsy uh, go 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 couple of days so today I think I'm just gonna chill I'm gonna make a video for tomorrow I'm not sure what yet maybe painting maybe drawing and then I also want to do some painting and just have like a nice painting day a nice art day uh, watching all the branches fall off the trees outside so yeah that is my plan I'm not sure how much I'll show you because it does get a little bit boring but I'll probably pop back It 
it's quarter to four right now and I've just finished doing some little doodles for my video that I'm gonna do. I decided that I would do a little like procreate video, I haven't done that for a while and go through my process of like doing my little um, procreate things that I've been doing. So I've just been drawing some more guinea pigs. I still find them very difficult, especially from the front. Um, from the three quarter angle, I'm getting a little better at them. And I really love these two, they're so cute. But I think today I'm gonna do this one and you would have seen that if you saw my video on Monday. Can I just show you the weather? I don't know if it's picking the rain up, but it is pretty miserable out there I do love the rain though I don't know how long Clueless has been on Netflix for at this point it doesn't matter all I know 100% for certain is I'm watching it so I finished my guinea pig I'm not quite sure how I feel about it it's a bit I don't know a bit more cartoony than I normally do but eh, I'll just go with it and then um so I'm just about finished Clueless, but can I just say, look at that house in the background. Where is that? It must be in America somewhere. It looks like in this fairy tale. Wait a second. What am I stressing about? This is like Josh. Okay, it's about, oh, I don't know, about six-ish. And uh, I was going to do some painting. Got my uh, paints here. Got my, my sketchbook. I'm all ready to go, but I lost my blooming camera. I can't find my camera anywhere. And then I'll... Don't worry. It's just attached to the camera arm. <laughs> what an idiot. So I'm going to do just a little painting. Just like literally 15 minutes. Because I was just on Instagrizzle. I don't know if anyone else calls it Instagrizzle. I do. Um, I was on Instagram and uh, Jamie... Jamie Park, who is an awesome illustrator, if you guys don't follow, uh, make sure you check her out. She's, I think it's a girl. Um, yeah, she, she does like watercolour digital stuff, I think. Uh, lots of really cool stuff in her feed. But uh, she just posted this. And it's just some really simple little rainbows. And I thought it was so cute. And so I commented. So I commented that um, it makes me want to paint rainbows and then she said, you should. So I thought, okay, I will. So I'm just going to paint some little rainbows and I thought it might be a nice little um, exercise for colour mixing from what I did yesterday. So I'm going to go into my mastery sketchbook and I've got a few pages in here that I kind of skip. This is where I use the extra paint that I have. It's actually quite a bit that I need to draw on. but. We'll just skip those and come back to those another day. There's another one. Uh, this looks good. So I'm just going to do just a really simple little rainbow painting. But I thought I'd record it so you guys can just kind of, kind of, I don't know, watch it I guess. I did the colour mixing yesterday and I'm trying to get both of this on screen so you can see. I did the colour mixing yesterday from Sandra Roberto. And I didn't. I don't think I mentioned that I'd never done colour mixing with magenta, cyan, and yellow before. If I have, so maybe I have. I, I forgot. But yeah, I thought it was just so cool because it makes a lot of sense when you think about it, and it just made the colours so much cleaner than um, if you were going to do it with like red, like especially the purples. So if you guys. Uh, into colour mixing or maybe you're just learning like me I'd definitely check out her videos I haven't done the other ones I think I'm gonna try and do those in the week or yeah maybe on my long weekend next week so that'll be fun I just thought I'll just mix a few different colours together so I don't have to so you can kind of see the mixing um because I can't have both things on the screen at the same time well, I can, but I have to zoom out, which I can't be bothered to do. So, we have a storm right now in England. Uh, what's it called? Storm Sierra or Kiera? I'm not, I'm not really sure what the name of the storm is. But it came through. It, like, knocked some trees around, chucked some branches off. Nothing really to be too concerned about where I am down here. My mum lives in Scotland, though. And I think it might have been a little bit worse up there. Just tried to phone her, but I couldn't get through. So either she's ignoring me, which is also a possibility, 
or the phone lines are down but she's probably just ignoring me she does that quite a bit but i just watched clueless the movie clueless i'm sure pretty much all of you guys must have seen it uh maybe you haven't if you're younger you probably haven't but i'm sure that you've all heard of it and there's quite a lot of when i'm on instagram there's always when i'm looking at like outfits of the days um to get inspiration there's always clueless uh like inspired outfits and always makes me want to do some because it's definitely not my fashion like i'm not really girly at all but i can definitely appreciate the amount of uh outfits that she wore for that movie and they are pretty cool looks to be to be fair so i actually looked the movie up to find out when it was made and it was made in 1995 and in 1995 i was I think I was like 12, 11, maybe 11. And I had the biggest crush on Paul Rudd when that movie came out. And at the time, I think, you know, you're a, you're a, little, you're a kid, like a preteen. But now that I'm thinking about it, I was like an 11-year-old with a crush on a possible 20, 20-ish year old. It's a bit weird, but no one can deny Paul Rudd was cute and still is. What do you think, Martin? Do you think Paul Rudd's cute? Do you think Paul Rudd's cute? Paul Rudd. He doesn't even know what Paul Rudd. He doesn't even know. What... Anyway, I think Paul Rudd's cute. And I'm sure a lot of you would agree. Let me know below if you agree. Wow. Mixing is super fun. But also, I'm running out of space. And where are the reds going to go? I don't think you meant to mix like this though, I think you meant to kind of like mix in one spot. That's probably what I'm doing wrong. But I quite like to see all the little dots like this on the page. It's quite fun. Okay, so this is gouache. I'm not quite sure. I think it looked like watercolour. Um, Jamie Park looked, her rainbows looked like watercolour. But when they're watered down this much, I'm pretty sure they're similar. Something's just so simple, but it's so fun. Although, I'm thinking, do I need a smaller brush? Hmm. I didn't really think this one through. Oh, look, I have this teeny, teeny little brush here that I can use. I forgot about that. I, love, I like this brush. I got this one, I got this one um, a couple of weeks ago. Oh, I like it. Okay. Well, I'm probably not going to talk now because I'm just going to chill out. So, I'm just going to speed this up so you can see all the rainbows oh i just remember i just realized it's been really stormy here today and i'm painting rainbows that's good isn't it i think i don't know sometimes i just ramble on i don't even know what i'm talking about to be honest It is half past ten, Sunday evening. I should be asleep right now. But instead, I'm drawing naked people. So I'm just catching up on February, day eight. That was yesterday. Um, I did it just now. And I really loved this model. He was really, really fun to draw. Very expressive. I very much enjoyed his... his when he did like a little um he did like a little warm up before he got into the pose so for this one he was swinging his sword and for this one he was like jumping up and down and shadow boxing thought that was pretty fun and then moved on to day nine which was today and this one was very difficult the theme of today's was relax but so day nine was quite difficult because there were a lot of very fast one minute poses where she was kind of like uh foreshortened or bent over or tangled up and very um creative poses i must say that the, this one standing pose by the time i got to this one i was so confused i didn't even understand how to draw someone standing up um and i have finished this sketchbook so that's cool so february one sketchbook down um and yeah so it's uh 10 30 now sunday i'm gonna i think i'm gonna pop to bed and yeah just sleep that's normally what I do when I'm tired. Hmm. Rambling. 
but that is all for the so that's all for this weekend i'm gonna pop to bed now and i will maybe check in during the week so uh good night it's tuesday night and uh, i got home early but i actually spent an hour cooking dinner for tomorrow so dinner's ready for tomorrow because tonight uh we're actually going out for a meal we're going to this thai place called the giggling squid which i've never been to before but everyone says it's amazing so i'm really looking forward to it um and we're going out because it is minor martin's four year anniversary yay and i have on the tiniest bit of makeup but because i never wear makeup i feel like i'm tarted up to go night clubbing so i'm feeling pretty risque right now but yeah hopefully i can show you some of the delicious food we're gonna eat and uh, have a lovely evening. So, so uh, let's eat delicious food, hopefully. It's Wednesday lunchtime and I'm in the car because I'm antisocial and uh, I've been on Procreate and I've basically been put in my images. I did them in InDesign uh, this morning. I put all the text in, kind of how I want it to be and then I've just popped that into Procreate where the text is going to be and then my plan is to uh, like lo lower the transparency like this and then um on a new layer do my handwriting over the text so that's kind of like going to be used as a guideline but it's still going to be my handwriting if you know what i mean so i did a couple of tests um and this is just my handwriting using a line and i didn't know how big to have them because some of the text has quite a lot of some of the pages have quite a lot of text in them and this is looks really messy i don't know to me it looks really messy so i did a little test and this is still my handwriting you can see still my handwriting but I just basically have copied it and it looks neat but it also looks like my handwriting so it's a little bit tedious but I think it's actually gonna help in the end so that's my plan but now I gotta go back to work it is quite nice out but chilly in this in the car it's almost it's basically like it's like a greenhouse in here so hot Thursday night, I just uh, thought I'd go through my clay pins quickly. So I have put them into piles of can use, and then these ones are like the dodgy ones, the skinny ones, the bloopy ones, the floopy ones, and that one's fine. Mm. This is a wobbly rainbow, that's fine. Okay, and then um, what I did when I gessoed them is, and I didn't do it on my last batch, so I'm a bit worried, I gessoed the back too. And what I'm thinking is, will, if I super glue a magnet or a pin on, will the gesso come away from the clay? So before I sand, because I was going to start and sand all the gesso off, but it was going to take a long time because it was hard going. I thought I'd do a little test, so I might just use this little rainbow and use sacrifice a magnet and super glue it on and then come back tomorrow and try with all of my might to pull it off and see if that if it comes off because I don't really want to um, sand them all and actually the gesso does look quite nice on it it makes it look a little bit like not so you know clay. So I got the super glue and I'm just gonna go for it. Martin, how do I use the super glue? Carefully. Gotta use the super glue carefully. X marks the spot. Okay, a little bit of super glue and a magnet. Boop. I hope this super glue, this horse super glue idea works because otherwise I have all my mag all my clay pins and this batch that don't have any pins attached to them. 
Right, I'm gonna just press it down and hold it for like five minutes and then let it go. It's Thursday, daytime, so I think it's about four o'clock. Um, I actually stayed at home today because I wasn't feeling very well this morning, so I didn't go into work, but I've just been watching TV and just chilling out. Um, and I thought we could quickly have a look at this magnet that I did yesterday. So, um, the magnet, it's pretty super glued on there. I haven't done a lot of tests with it, but trying to trying to get it off doesn't really work um, I'm not quite sure like how I mean obviously if people are just gonna get this they're not gonna like try to get the magnet off but I'm over here because the only magnetic thing in the room is my trolley Boop. that works and pull it off stick it on pull it off stick it on <laughs> this, is, this is exciting and it looks like it is not coming off so I'm gonna call the super glue a success just been watching Mrs. Maisel and doing my uh, text today and I've done all of the text so you can see took about two episodes of Mrs. Maisel and they're all done now so I've saved this out as a PSD and I probably won't get around to it till the weekend I don't really feel like being at the computer right now but yeah I just wanted to show you that just so you can see the zine is progressing, but I think I'm actually going to say goodbye now. I'm not going to go on camera because I look a, I look a state. So just look at these pretty colours while I say goodbye. Okay, now now look at the cactus. Now look at the llama. Just don't look at me. Um, I will see you next week, hopefully, for the vlog or a Monday for the new art video. Hope you have a lovely day and a lovely weekend. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.